thanks to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. So I just looked in the mirror before I started filming and I honestly cannot tell if my look today is giving Cottage Cool Princess Bride vibes or stock image of a youth counselor at a Christian camp vibes, but I'm kind of gonna settle somewhere in the middle and just say it's a Yassified horse girl. So I was gonna say that today we're gonna be doing something rare by indulging my curiosities, but when it comes to this channel and reviewing interesting internet brands, uh, I wouldn't say that's a rare occurrence, I would say that's pretty bread and butter around here. I would say almost maybe it's my brand. Hmm? So I've tried a good deal of online shopping websites, both in my capacity as human woman who has a flesh vessel that needs to be clothed, and also in my capacity as internet woman who uh, clothes her flesh vessel for an internet audience. <laughs> but a common thread, uh, recurring theme, a symbolic motif that runs throughout my content, if you will, and I know is something that is true for a lot of you as well because you comment about it or you message me about it, is that it can be quite challenging to find items that are made for people, who have a, you know, a little a body that's like kind of wee 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 wee. It's about that bust to waist to hip ratio, if you know what I'm saying. And I have talked a lot on here about jeans before and just generally finding things that fit both my hips and my waist. And so, so, so many of you mentioned that I should try Fashion Nova, which is what we're gonna be doing today. Now, I actually wanted to do this video way back about six months ago. Um, I ordered some things from Fashion Nova during Black Friday and I put the order through and then it apparently got lost at sea. And I'm not gonna lie, I did get a pretty negative first impression of customer service. Like, to be honest, I don't think that Fashion Nova had a stellar reputation, hence why I have avoided them for so long. So my first package got lost at sea. It took me a long time to be able to get even the store credit. Like I didn't even want a refund. I just wanted a store credit because I still wanted to make this video because I was still curious. I had so many people messaging me saying that for the Coke bottle girlies, Fashion Nova was the place to go. I mean, look at the website. <laughs> These models have a very specific body shape and it's quite different to what I think you would see on ASOS, Princess Polly, Zara, H&M, all of those websites. Um, I won't say that I have the same body type as these women exactly, but they're definitely a more hourglass kind of pear, curvier shape, which, you know, holds hope for me, I think. So this rack next to me holds a selection of clothing from Fashion Nova. Uh, it is not the clothing that was lost at sea. <laughs> Still don't quite know what happened there. <laughs> but anyway, I went back onto the website and I ordered. They say that the jeans so good. I even have friends who have jeans from them and they say they're amazing. So I, let's, let's find out. But before you learn about these clothes, I would like to talk about how you can learn with today's sponsor, Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of classes to help you hone and improve your skills. 2022 is the year that I made the switch to become a full-time freelancer, which has been very exciting, but also a little bit overwhelming. As you may know, I do sometimes girl boss a little bit too close to the sun. So I've been looking for some guidance on how to use my big brain power to feel more confident and in control of my time. Kevin Siskar's class, Productivity Today, Managing Attention in the Digital Age, was a great refresher on some classic productivity tips, but I also learned new skills, like how to actually meaningfully prioritize my to-do list to turn my tidal wave of tasks into a much more manageable and streamlined list, as well as how to minimize all the distractions that come with working in social media. Whether you're looking to learn a new skill or get creative with your passions, Skillshare is the perfect place to start. The first 1,000 viewers who sign up using my link in the description below will get a one month free trial of Skillshare so you can start exploring your creativity today. And speaking of productivity, let's get back into the video. And now pick a moment for relevant sizing and details and such as Lucy. I'm gonna pop my relevant measurements up here in a second, so feel free to look or not look as per your preference. I am typically an Australian size eight to 10 or a small to medium, and in US sizing, that is a four to six. Fashion Nova's sizing was particularly cooked, in my opinion. I went through forums, I went through reviews on the website, I watched YouTube videos of a bunch of different gorgeous women trying on pairs of jeans, trying to figure out what size in their jeans I was, because on their size chart, I was essentially between two sizes. I think it was describing it as an Australian size six to eight. Now six is definitely too small for me, but then the other size was an Australian size 10 to 12, and a 12 would definitely be too big for me on the waist. And I know that the jeans are typically stretchy. You can kind of see where I'm going here. So believe me, I looked through hundreds of pairs of the jeans on the website, and they do have a lot of pairs. I looked at the reviews, I looked at what people were saying their measurements were and what pair of jeans they bought and what worked for them. So that's how I bought those jeans. So believe me, I, as a consumer, I think went the extra mile <laughs> 
to try and figure out which pairs would be the best size. And considering that they don't allow refunds and you change of mind returns, I thought that was a little bit interesting um, that their sizing seemed to be so inconsistent. Um, but I did my best, so hopefully my best will be decent. That's the fashion police coming to get them for their horrific sizing. So I'm actually wearing a little bit of fashion over already and no, it's not the jeans, it is this top. It's the morning light off the shoulder top. Uh, and I think it's really cute. I was mainly attracted to it because a lot of the tops and kind of blouses, blouses, do we even say blouses anymore? Do we? A lot of the tops and shirts and things there such as on the Fashion Nova website were quite a uh, polyester thing. But polyester for me is very much a right place, right time, right polyester kind of thing. I do have some pieces that are made with synthetic materials that I really enjoy, but typically if they don't look super alluring and great on the website i don't think they're going to come out looking better in real life so this was one of the few kind of cute tops whatever that category means to you that were made of cotton it's basically a t-shirt material but it's this kind of cute cottage core vintage pin-up sort of top and um actually i don't hate it i actually really like it it's feminine it's flattering it's not like amazing quality or anything like that but just the nature of the style of top it is plus the material just make it a comfy but also flattering kind of top something that i feel like i could put on and feel like put together like i've done today with just jeans and a white t-shirt but it's in a kind of cute blouse form blouse blouse so I feel like we should just try on our first pair of jeans and just jump into it. Uh, I've just popped heels on because these are quite long, but I don't think you can even really... Uh, I'll include a clip of me wearing them full length so you can see them properly, but I'll just like... So these jeans I was very excited for. These are the Valentina High Rise Flare jeans. Uh, and I got them in a size seven. And again, I kind of went back between a five and seven and sometimes a nine. Every single pair of jeans was different. All the reviews were incredibly varied, but I went for a seven and I would say, I would say seven is correct, but I have a feeling from the way that the reviews were written that I probably could have worn a five and I would have been okay. Um, I think they would have just been like more on that tight side, which may not be comfortable, but I feel like maybe it would be a bit more supportive. So like, I kind of knew this going into it because Fashion Nova became really popular around the time when skinny jeans became popular. Kylie Jenner wore some of them and stuff like that. So I knew that their jeans were stretchy and that's also why they're popular among people who are on the curvy side because um, they accommodate all those curves. So they are <laughs> basically jeggings, which I don't hate, but I also don't love. Uh, and I would say that they look like jeggings. I also want to say, maybe it's just me, they look way darker than they do in the picture on the website. I was expecting a bit more of a, like I typically wear light wash denim, um, expecting something in between these two, maybe like the lighter parts of the wash on this, but I feel like that's a solid, like true blue indigo kind of color. You know that song where it's like blue jean bear bear, like I kind of feel like it's that level of blue, like it's a very strong color. And it could just be, you know, my brain playing tricks on me, but I, I swear, the way they're shot in these pictures don't indicate that it's that dark, at least to me, or at least I was surprised. And it very well could just be me being a silly sausage, but I'd like to think otherwise. They weren't difficult to get on really at all. Like they're very, very stretchy. Uh, they feel pretty comfortable. I just don't really like them. <laughs> Look, they're not criminally bad, but I'm just saying that I don't feel very good in them. I don't feel like they bring out my shape in a way that feels as flattering to me as I know other pieces to. I would just say while they are incredibly stretchy, I wouldn't say it's a supportive stretch so much as a surrendering stretch. Um, the stretch just completely gives way. It's not really doing anything to kind of support you in a way that something like a really good pair of, you know, active wear leggings or shorts would do. I kind of just feel like I'm wearing a pair of like plain stretchy leggings and not a pair of pants to go outside. I just feel like even with jeans with a bit of stretch in them, even with some jeggings, you can convincingly make it look a little bit more structured or just at least the material has a bit more structure in it to more convincingly look like pants and they just don't look like pants to me. 
Like maybe I would have more luck with these if I sized down and I'd get a bit more of that support and structure because like I said, again, I'm in between those two sizes. Um, so maybe I would have to try these in a five, but it does seem like that would be quite small. Or maybe I just picked the wrong cut for me and that's fine, but I also don't really like the color. So <laughs> they fit, but I don't like them and I'm not gonna keep them. I wouldn't wear these. After an additional moment of contemplation, I think also one of the main issues is the way that the fade on the legs looks. Like I appreciate that someone at Fashion Nova has read that magic eye book and like, that's cool. But I think in this case, I want to opt out of that like optic illusion trickery. Like I'm, <laughs> I don't need any assistance with the silhouette. That's why I'm here. <laughs> but again, like it doesn't look like that on the website. So it doesn't look that extreme on the website. So yeah, if you would like that optical illusion, then I can recommend them. Um, but I'm good, thank you. Okay, so these already you can see are a lot more my speed. They're a lot more similar to jeans. You've probably seen me wear before. And they just overall feel more modern. They do not look like a pair of jeans. <laughs> these are the Bridge the Distance wide leg jeans. And again, I will insert a clip for you as well so you can kind of see what they look like on me. Like the last ones, I would say they are on the long side. I would have to put some chunky sneakers or heels on for them to not drag on the ground. And these ones are 99% cotton, 1% elastane. So they are definitely more on the normal <laughs> cotton denim side with just that little bit of stretch. Um, but they do still feel like quite stretchy to me. And I would just say, unfortunately, these ones are too big. I don't know how well you can see, but there is some pretty decent gapping at the back as well as just kind of like a general roominess. I don't mind a more relaxed fit at all, but from the way this is sitting, I think it is meant to lie like firmly slash more flush to your waist. See, computer enhance, computer enhance. These are a seven, but then on that it says 28. So it's a waist 28. So again, I'm a 27 typically. So they, yeah, that, <laughs> that tracks, <laughs> they're too big. So I do feel like I could size down, but I think that would then be a 26 waist, which could be airing on the small side, to be honest. So, uh, I do actually really like the way the legs look. Like I think they're pretty cool and flattering. Obviously I'm like pressed against the wall and staying on my tippy toes. So like probably not the best representation. But yeah, I feel a lot more positive on this pair of jeans than I do the last pair. I just think they are miles abound better than the last pair in terms of how they look. I just feel like they just look more like pants. I was kind of looking at them and I was thinking, oh, you know, maybe if I got the waist taken in, I would quite like these jeans, but I also don't know if I love them like enough to bother. I think a Lucy who had not experienced as many different pairs of jeans would be content with this pair of jeans. Like they're not, they're not bad, but I have tried on more pairs of jeans and quite a lot of pairs of jeans. And I know that there are better ones out there for me. However, I can absolutely understand why a lot of people really recommend Fashion Nova jeans because the price point on these jeans, these came down to under 30 US dollars, which is like insane for a pair of jeans. It's a really, really, really low price for a pair of jeans brand new. I'm not going to keep them. They're not for me. I feel like I tried so hard with this order to try and find some really good fashion over jeans. And I feel like I just did not succeed. So if you have any recommendations for what you think the best jeans on Fashion Nova's website are, I looked at like the sellers, I looked at reviews and everything. I do prefer more of a straight flare wide leg cut than a skinny jean, which I think might make it a bit harder because I think that's what Fashion Nova are really popular for. But in our Lord's year of 2022, I'm, I'm not wearing skinny jeans, unfortunately. That's just me personally. That is not like a dig at millennials. I don't want to get into that like insane discourse on TikTok. I'm good, thanks. Peace and love. I feel like we should move on. The rest of the pieces are not denim, but I was just interested. You know, I was like, while I'm here, while we're doing this, I just like to explore. I feel like this top has been successful. You know, it's basically like a feminine, girly, basic staple. Um, so hopefully we'll have some success this order. RIP to the denim. But we must move on. We must persevere. I am a fashion influence. <laughs> Listen, when my initial order was lost at sea, uh, I had a store credit and I was just really struggling to find things that I wanted to talk about. What I'm trying to say is that even though these videos are for entertainment and I could just pick the most outlandish things, um, I do genuinely want to see if I can find good things. Like I'm, I'm acting with good faith. I don't particularly find it fun to just try on things that I don't like. So sometimes what you get is this, because realistically, day to day in my home office, 
this is the kind of stuff you'll see me wearing. So this is the keeping it fresh. Short sleeve set in heather gray. So this one is actually a rayon spandex mix, which I actually don't hate this material. It's often quite soft um, and feels really comfortable, very, dare I say, breathable. We're not going to spend time on this. It is, <laughs> it is what it is, isn't it? I will say the waistband is like one of those really, you can feel it underneath. It's like an obnoxiously big piece of elastic, um, which can look nice because it gives you that really flat waistband look, but it's also like, I would say not a particularly nice one. Like I have a few pairs of these kind of comfy lounge pants with like the, the nice wide waist belt, but those ones, um, the waist is really nicely secured. Whereas this one, it's, it's gonna like do that thing where it like flips, which if you've had that happen, you know, is like so annoying. Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> Can we move on? Like, what do we need to do? The cut is flattering. I look nice and grey. Uh, I wouldn't say that Fashion Nova have achieved any particular feat in making this not go horrifically wrong because this one is pretty hard to mess up. <laughs> wow, a ribbed midi skirt with a little slit in it. How original, Lucy. <laughs> like I said, I, I wanted to genuinely try and find things uh, that could be good. Um, and because I was not feeling super confident about the jeans because of the whole sizing debacle, I figured I would get something that I know I usually like to be able to judge the quality. Um, this is the Undeniable Pleasures set. And um, I don't know if I would say undeniable. First of all, the only thing I can think of with this top is like cut everything else off and then it's just like Lara Croft top, which is kind of slay. I got this in a size small and I would say that was good. It does feel like that is the correct size for me. I wouldn't go bigger. Uh, I don't think the rib is as nice and kind of thick and creamy as I've experienced with some other ones. This one is just, you know, it's just feeling a little bit on the not as nice quality side. Did I expect that? Maybe. I can't say it was unexpected. Much like the pleasures are not undeniable. I don't think I look bad in it. I do think I look better in other versions of this that are done better. The color is really pretty. I picked a good color. Like, look, it's it's not the Eliza Doolittle of matching sets, and that I don't believe it transcends its own class. Best, best observation. Not the class commentary on a ribbed set from Fashion Nova, but you get my point, right? Like, I just don't think it particularly does anything super exciting. It's just fine. But for me personally, as an individual consumer lady who has clothes lady, lady, uh, I have clothes that I like more than this. So this isn't going to replace anything anytime soon for me. Yeah, the material is a little thin. It's not, it's not performing miracles. It's certainly not undeniable pleasures. So I <laughs> completely forgot the name of this dress. This is the Capital Babe uh, sequin mini dress. I don't even know if we're under the legal jurisdiction of Babe. I don't even know if we're in the state where Babe is the city. I don't think we're quite near that at all. And I realized we did just have a discussion before about how even though this is for entertainment, I'm like trying to act with good faith. Like I'm trying to pick items, hoping they're gonna be good. And you may not believe me in saying that this item, like I genuinely thought it was gonna be good because it is so far different and removed from what I normally get. Uh, it's giving very 2012 Beyonce backup dancer, Jesse J price tag. That time when Nikki, Ariana and Jesse J all did bang bang. Like that era. Was that like what, 2014? It's giving that. And you know what? That is not a bad thing, but it, it is giving specifically that era, which is weird because it's a fast fashion website. Wouldn't you pick something more recent? Anyway, my point is, uh, I think that if this was finished and made to a little bit of a higher standard, which I know is from Fashion Nova, but we can always hope, right? But if it was made to a higher standard, like at least it's lined, so it's not like you've just got sequins straight on your body, which that's a good start. Always solid to not be uh, in pain from the materials that you wear on your bod. But I would just say even putting on and like just kind of walking around my room and pacing, I noticed that like the lining underneath would like slip out from under the sequins and like, just a few things that I'm kind of like, it just makes it look not particularly finished. This one compared to the last one where I like genuinely was hoping that was gonna be like good or at least a good like test to sort of see our baseline, what, what we were looking at. 
Um, this one is obviously more of a strong aesthetic choice that is maybe a little bit different from my own. So I'll, I'll cop that, I'll cop that. Like I can see what this dress is trying to achieve, but I feel like if it's doing it at the budget that I believe that Fashion Nova will be producing it at, it's not gonna achieve that. Anyway, let's move on. This is the last thing we're gonna talk about today. And this is a three piece set, which is the come get it set in Plum. I just feel like I look like a super villain or a very yassified insta baddie version of Daphne from the live action Scooby-Doo films, which is not a bad thing. You know what? I don't hate this. Round of applause. Again, much like most of the things we've talked about today, the material is really thin. Um, it's not, not soft, like it's quite soft, but it is just a very thin material. It doesn't feel particularly of an amazing quality. Like, I'll be honest, it's sort of giving Shein. I'm wearing this, I have a cape, you know, I like the long duster cardigan. I like the idea of it. I don't think it's the best execution of this that could possibly exist, but you know, for the price point, it's not horrible. It's just fine. And like most of the things we've tried on today, they're just fine. And I can't say that I'm gonna be returning to the Fashion Nova website in a hurry. I still feel like maybe I could crack the code with the jeans. Like the jeans, the one thing where I'm like, this is, there's potential. And because I've heard so many good things from so many of you as well, who say you have a figure similar to mine. So I'm still interested in the jeans, but in terms of just like the other clothes I've tried, like I'm just not particularly impressed. Like I like the white top. The white top is solid. It is a gasified t-shirt, um, but I like that. That's good. Um, but the rest of it, none of it's climbing the ranks in terms of uh, good clothes that I like and have put on my body in recent time. Like, I don't think I look bad in this little three-piece set. I think I look kind of cute, but I'm also not particularly like jazzed or excited by it. And I'm kind of at a point in my personal consumer journey where I, 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 I like to be a little bit excited and jazzed. Like I, I like it when things spark joy. I like feeling good about a purchase and finding pieces that I really, really love and connect with and like want to stay in my wardrobe for like a long time. And I can't say that any of these are the types of pieces that are really like connecting with me. Like if I was Jacob the werewolf, like none of these are Renesme. Like I wouldn't imprint on any of them. Do you know what I mean? And it's not that my heart wasn't open. Like I was ready to find some good surprises at Fashion Over today. And unfortunately that did simply just not happen. So yeah, hopefully, even though I've been filming this for multiple hours and feel like it's a little bit of a bummer, hopefully you got some entertainment out of just like my slow spiral into the depths of Fashion Nova. Anyway, that is Fashion Nova. Let me know down below if there is a secret Fashion Nova shopping trick that I missed and horribly messed up this video and I could course correct it by this one cool trick that all dermatologists endorse. And also if you have any other online stores or clothing brands you'd like to recommend for me to check out and review for us, you, me, we, on this channel, then let me know down in the comments below. As always, thank you so, so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.